heat. Heat integrated wave reactor for simulation of the hydrogen production from fuel cell. Today, our main problem is energy. We decide that how to make compatible fuel cells for the cars, for example, like this, this picture. But before experiment, we must know some definitions. Fuel cells are electrochemical devices. With, uh, which convert the chemical energy stored in the fuel and, and into the fuel electrical energy with the heat as by the product. Okay, I'm going to the next page. A fuel cell is comprised of an, an anode. An anode and ions conducting electrolytes in the center and, and, and the cathode. A fuel is oxidized at the, at the anode liberating electrons which flow the view and external circuit like to the cathode. This is our graph that showing in the uppermost layer is anode and the lowermost layer is cathode and the middle of them are say electrolyte. With the left side of this we, have, we will have two ions and the right side of this only one ions. Here is the here is the lot, it's connected to the uppermost layer is in the anode and the lowermost layer is in the cathode. Here is the electrons by taking and giving and when one hydrogen is applied to the anode and the upper uh, lowermost layer, the one hydrogen dioxide are released. And when oxygen is what uh, going to inside of the cathode. Okay, I'm going to the next page. The temperature process provides many benefits from automatic application. This picture shows us to the automatic application, including less fuel assumptions to the startup to heat to heat reformers to its operating temperature. Wider choice to reactors materials and add less insulation required, which is which is turn enable to compact size and weight. I'm going to the next page. Here is the our what working system of the energy. Here is the first step of this, and this side is the second step, and uh, this side our the third step, and this side the fourth step. That's end. I want to talk about our project reaction. In this reaction, we will have the methane gas, yes, and here is the car hydrogen dioxide. And when two molecules are what mix each other, react each other, the total, the total will obtain the carbon monoxide gas and hydrogen. Why? Why this? By using electrical current, water molecules evaporate to react with the methane gas. Now I am going to explain the exactly what happened in this reaction. When, carb when uh, methane gas and hydrogen, hydrogen dioxide what mix with each other, uh, methane gas taking four subunits and hydrogen giving one, and this hydrogen giving only one and oxygen taking only two of them. By the help of the electron, these two reactions will obtain carbon monoxide and hydrogen. This means we will by help of the we will by help of the uh, elect electrons, electrics, we will obtain this kind of heat. And this is this reaction is oxidation reaction. Oxidation reaction. When two carbon is what uh, react to the each other, we will uh, take this carbon takes up four subunits and this carbon are giving to two two subunits and the total is six electrons are gained into the into the first reaction and this reaction is called oxidation anode reaction oxidation reaction always appears in anode reaction. And this is hydrogen, we will come hydrogen side, hydrogen, and when two electrons is gaining to the hydrogen, the total hydrogen is not take anything. And this reaction is called the reduction reaction. 
the reduction site is always will obtain a cathode reaction. Do you know in the world we will have the endothermic reaction and exothermic reaction? What does it mean? An endothermic reaction we will what? By help of the electric, we will obtain a, this kind of heat. And in the exothermic reaction, the what? The we will nothing do. Since the reaction is endothermic, nickel as a catalyst can be used to accelerate a reaction. Now, without nickel, this reaction is very slow, rank each other, and by the help of the nickel, the reaction is become very fast to rank each other. This kind of thing there is. And there is the inside of the what reactions will have a carbon monoxide and hydrogen dioxide. If two of these reactions react each other, there is real release to carbon dioxide and hydrogen. This in this case we will what gain an electron into this one and we get this one heat. Our heat. And there is the carb there is the carbon monoxide there is the methane gas and here is the oxygen here is the oxygen. This oxygen are react to each other and we will get to this kind of molecules. Carbon dioxide and hydrogen dioxide. Here is the our heat energies. This kind of thing. Now this is the uh, practical part and this is the experiment equipment and this is the uh, voltmeter, uh, power supply. This is the filtered water uh, that's mixed with the sodium carbonate and this is the simple homemade electrodes this is very very simple and those are electrical wire that we need now uh, we are preparing the experiment equipment uh, that will connect the wires this one Crocodiles. Like the other crocodile. Mm -hmm. There's the uh, simple simulation. It's very basic system. It's very basic system. Uh, for showing the voltage. We are connected the voltmeter like that. <coughs> this is minus this here. This is the plus charge mm -hmm. over here. And it's our project. Now our system is <coughs> Ready, and the first let's will control the electricity. And our power supply works like that, as you see that. And now it's given a heat, uh, electrical energy. And after that, we can start our uh, exper experiment. Experiment. And this is the cutouts, as you see. This is connected to the wire, and after that, this is the. Uh, filtered water uh, that's mixed with the sodium carbonate sodium. and after that we are putting on it uh, this electron electrodes and after that we are uh, starting to our experiment yes as you see that and there are Yeah, just start to play. Let's see. And the left side, uh, left side is cathed, and the hydrogen gases is started to going out onto the system. And the right side is anode, and this is uh, oxygen. Let's go out.
Yes, this is hydrogen gases and the right side is oxygen gases. This is the simple experiment of our project and this is the homemade experiment. It is so basic and this is that's all.